It is part of human nature to want to develop ourselves and live the best life possible. I mean, nobody gets up in the morning and they think that today I'm looking forward to having a very bad day. We all want to be happy and we are wired to be happy. So self-development is going to be a topic of discussion today. It's all about uh, looking at the qualities, the skills, the traits and the talents that we have and making sure that we capitalize on our strengths very much and in such a way that our weaknesses disappear. Good evening and thank you so much for tuning in to Y254. My name is Elizabeth Ngena and this is a Health and Lifestyle Wednesday. So with me in the studio, I'm not alone, I have two guests. Uh, close to me is Angela Katua, who is a transformational coach. And next, is, next to her is Yvonne Yamala, who is a vice chairperson at Karatina University. They are the people who are going to help me steer this discussion. Also, don't forget to follow this conversation on our social media pages at Y254. Uh, at 254 channel and at Lizzie underscore Ngina, that is on Twitter. So, uh, Angela and Yvonne, uh, welcome to the show and thank you for coming. Thank you. And without f much further ado, let's just go straight to it. What is personal development and how can we achieve it? Personal development is a lifelong process of discovering your strengths and your weaknesses and uh, working towards achieving your self-actualization. So it is basically uh, knowing who you are and working towards the best of you that you can be. Yes. Yeah. I, uh, when we talk about self-development, I understand there are things we can't talk about it without being involved. Uh, there are elements and themes, something like self-worth, self-identity, self-love, self-esteem, uh, confidence, validation, all that. So I would want you to uh, shine a light on first uh, self-identity and self-worth. Self-identity is uh, it's discovering who you truly are, why you are created, yes. because we were all uh, brought to this earth for a reason. And uh, God had a purpose for everyone here. So uh, you need to discover who you are and uh, uh, you look at uh, what your past has been like from your childhood and now that is what makes you yes. and then you you know where you are, whether you are you are at the right place and whether you need to change some things about you mm -hmm. many times we feel that we are not content with what is happening around us and uh, basically that is what happiness is all about yes. if you're okay with uh, whatever is happening in your life and if you're not okay with whatever is happening in your life then that now calls for you to discover who you are yes. Yes. And uh, now work towards now what you are supposed to be doing. And what you are supposed to be doing is your purpose. So self-awareness brings about your, your, your purpose. Yes. It helps you now propel yourself to, uh, to achieving whatever it is that you are created to achieve. Yes. Yeah. And I wanted you to, like, uh, because um, I wanted you first to define self-worth, self-identity, and how they're related. And, yeah. Self-worth is, uh, is your, uh, your value and your space. You yes. Everyone has a space mm -hmm. that they, uh, they occupy yeah. and everyone has a value. So your self-worth will depend on how you take yourself and how you take yourself will depend on how you know yourself, which yes. is self-awareness. Okay. So there is self-awareness, which is knowing who you are, your yeah. identity, mm -hmm. who are you? And then there is self-worth, which is now discover, uh, self-worth is claiming your space, knowing who, uh, what, what uh, your worth, what 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 your value is as a person yes. because uh, you see that um, there are people who uh, uh, have similar careers but some are paid very low and others are uh, paid very high and maybe others uh, the ones who are paid even a bit low are content yes. they are okay with wherever they are now them they, they know that that is okay with them that's their self-worth is just about that about that mm -hmm. And so self-worth is basically what you feel about yourself. Yeah. Okay. What what value do you put in yourself? Do you put to yourself? Yeah. So uh, uh, let me have uh, Yvonne tell us a bit about uh, confidence uh, and self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Yvonne Yamala is my name. And confidence and self-esteem, I think this is something that I really love talking about. Because confidence is the way you, like, you take yourself. How are you going to present yourself to people? You see, sometimes you just need to get the sense out of yourself. Yes. And you, s you need to have the courage in you. So confidence, when you have confidence, like you're in a position to speak 
pick out what you know is right and what you know is wrong. And now that based on the fact that we're talking about personal development, you need to realize yourself. And I cannot say personal development is, I can describe it in one major line of direction. I can describe it in five major, five different ways of which, can I go ahead? Well, uh, you can mention them. Okay. okay, in terms of personal development, you need to understand about your relational goals, your health goals, your financial goals, your career goals, and your mental goals. Mm -hmm. that, the, that basically describes your personal development. So if you develop in the five major ways, it will actually de de define who you are in, in terms of personal development. Uh, okay. Um, how uh, I imagine there are people who, when growing up, they missed that major step of about uh, developing yourself forth. Maybe you missed a step and you were drawn maybe to, uh, uh, to assuming someone else's personality or character. Like basically you're, you're not, you, you, you do not have the required self worth. You do not have the required self love. So starting with Angela, uh, can you tell us a bit about how, uh, what effect that can have on you if you do not first understand your self worth or your, yeah, you don't know your identity? What danger can it pose? Well, uh, it, is, uh, it is a requirement for everyone to know themselves and to develop themselves. And it's very unfortunate that many people actually are walking around not knowing who they are and even uh, going into relationships and going to employment and all that without discovering who truly they are. And the systems that we've been having before are systems that uh, have not helped us discover ourselves at the, a younger age which shouldn't be the case. Mm -hmm. And um, that is why we have so many uh, broken marriages. We have people losing jobs that get fired because of emotional issues. Yes. Uh, we have um, people don't even know how to communicate, how to cope, how mm -hmm. to dress up and present themselves. So it is, it is a, sad ish, uh, a sad thing that people may not even know who they are and develop themselves without, uh, and they are already grown up. Yes. Now, yeah. is there a specific age or a certain age that if maybe, well, is there a certain age that will really affect you when you do not know you or yourself or, or it's just generally to everybody? It's generally to everybody because we need to teach our, even our children yes. about self about uh, personal development. Mm -hmm. We need to start from uh, the basics even when they are very small without, uh, before going to school. People need to understand what this thing is because yeah. it is very vital, it's very important. And uh, w you find that so many people are broken because, and I say that uh, self-actualization is uh, now achieving everything that you need and living happily. Mm -hmm. uh, it may not be very easy for so many people to achieve mm -hmm. because they never uh, grew up knowing how to develop themselves. So, so this about self worth and self development. It's something that you grow learning. Uh, you, you you learn developing as you grow up. So it starts from childhood onwards as you as you grow. Yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be something that is advancing as you grow. Yeah, it's not something that you learn and that that's it. You yeah. have to keep on improving yourself because uh, times change and people change people even that you're relating with change and you even yourself will change and you need to know how to work on yourself and how to adapt to all environments yes yeah so Yvonne uh, tell us a bit about I assume you have seen people who are short of confidence and self-esteem uh, yeah how how do you think it affects them or how does it affect them Actually, that is a major problem because you might find someone, as she's just put it, that you find like you don't when you don't have confidence, you're not in a position to speak out, and when you're not in a position to speak out, n nobody will know what it is in you. Yeah. So like it has adverse effects to individuals. So like when you don't have confidence, you see, you first of all you haven't understood yourself. You need to understand yourself from beginning. Of which, if you don't understand yourself, there is no way you can speak out. You can't tell people that this is what it is. Yeah, so like, yourself yeah, exactly. Issue. You cannot express yourself so well, such that when you have a problem, I'm not in a position to detect. Even when you go where people are, when you have not understood yourself, sometimes you might find uh, you are in a position, you are, you are having a problem, but you can't speak it out. So like, I'm not in a position to detect. If if you, you are in need of help or you are okay. So it usually has some negative effects to people.
people such that people are not in a position to know how they can help you yeah. and since you are not you don't have the confidence and the courage you first you didn't understand yourself so you are not in a position to speak about what it is in you yeah. so like the rela the relationships that you're having with people you'll have so a lot of difficulties in terms of relating with the people and coping up with the life generally life challenges will beat you up and therefore you like you will not succeed in what you really want yeah i can imagine it's such a, a big gateway to things like depression and mental health issues yeah so well i have grown up i have assuming i have found myself at maybe in my 20s and i have realized that maybe my i do not know where i stand in terms of self worth self love and uh, self esteem where do i start uh, let's start with angela where do i start now i'm in my 20s i already have uh, friends i already have my life put together but i don't have self worth and all these things i need to figure out about myself where do i start you have to be deliberate with whatever it is that you want to achieve and if personal development is a th is uh, something that you really want to achieve you have to take the initiative to learn about it and uh, because uh, one thing about um, about achieving is you learn first so you have to learn yourself you have to learn what makes you uh, happy what makes you sad it is it is unfortunate that um, uh, w because now uh, personal development is about an all-rounded uh, person from your spirituality your finance your work and uh, everything else about life and it's unfortunate that many people go into relationships and even marriage with and they they feel that they want to to get someone who they know but they don't even know who they are so it is um, it's it's an initiative that these people everyone needs to take mm -hmm. if you are a grown person and uh, you haven't really achieved it there's there's no limit of of time that uh, you need to start i once started a class of uh, personal development and uh, i had a student who was 60 years old mm -hmm. yeah and he was he learned a lot and it even pushed him further into achieving things that uh, he never thought that he could achieve wow, at 60, yeah that's, at that's 60 yeah that's really <laughs> yeah well so how do you understand your identity so that is what you're going to look at when we come back after the break so don't go too far let's take that break <laughs> 